Hi, I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day. There are a few things in life that just have that yuck factor. Today's proverb reminds us of one of those gross moments of life. Here's what Proverbs 26:11 says. Like a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Those lovable puppy dogs will barf something up and then come back and eat it. What's also kind of gross is when we do that with our own sin. We all know the pattern. We open our mouth in an unloving way and we destroy a relationship. We vow we'll never do it again, but the next conversation is a repeat of the same sinful words. Another way that we prove this proverb is when we walk down that path that leads to fulfilling that addiction or that lust over and over again. We are prone to repeat our foolish sins. And in God's eyes, in the eyes of wisdom, this returning to our foolish sin is as gross as a dog returning to its vomit. Why do we do this? The next proverb, I think, hints at one reason why. Proverbs 26, 12 says, Do you see a man who is wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. God's word says that being wise in our own eyes is a foolish way to live. We won't learn from our mistakes. And when we don't learn from our mistakes, we are destined to repeat them. Is there a way to avoid this repeat of foolishness? Here are a few suggestions. Number one, be grossed out by your sin. Think about it the same way as barf. Sin is gross. Going back to it over and over again is, a dis is as disgusting as a dog returning to its vomit. Two, don't be wise in your own eyes. Bring the sin to someone else's attention. Get someone that you trust and let them know about the struggle. Listen to their wisdom. It can help you. Number three, you've got to bring the sin to Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. That old way of living doesn't need to be on repeat in your life. Jesus loves you. He came to save you from that foolish, sinful life. And he will make you a new creation so you can avoid returning to your foolish ways. Today, let's grow in wisdom and learn from our mistakes, being sure that we don't repeat them. Have a blessed day.